and just like that this is the last run before my ultra <laughs> Hey guys, it's Lucy. Today's gonna be a really, really open and honest chat. I am a couple of days out from my ultra and today is my last run day. It's not gonna be a long run, it's only gonna be a couple miles. Nevertheless, I wanna bring you guys with me, you know? I've got so much I wanna say. Before I get into it, I just wanna say, welcome back. Welcome back, <laughs> if you've been before. If you are new, my name is Lucy and I make content on YouTube about running and some weight loss. What sets me apart from all the other runners on here is I have started at 230 pounds, unable to run more than 30 seconds at a time. I know all of the struggles. I haven't really set foot in a gym, <laughs> but I've still managed to get myself in this position where I'm only two days away from running my first ever ultra marathon. If this is the kind of content you think you need right now, or if it's the kind of content that you're just gonna enjoy, hit that subscribe button, come along, become a virtual running buddy. All levels of runners are welcome here. I am over half a mile done on my first bit of the run, and I'm just taking refuge on this little field <laughs> to have a chat with you guys. I'm filming this on Friday, my race is on Sunday. I've looked at the training plan that I've followed slash not followed for the past few months <laughs> and in the week of the race it wants me to do a lot of tapering I've only managed to get one run done and that was a two miler which is okay that's not a problem I was supposed to do two miles that day but it's just I feel so underprepared I feel like I just haven't trained enough I haven't had the time especially when it comes down to this week and I've only actually managed to do two miles yes I'm not supposed to be doing a lot of miles this week but I still think I should be doing more than two miles. But anyway, I'm out today. It is supposed to be rest day today and a rest day tomorrow and then race day. But because I've not been able to run, I'm just going to do one of the runs today. I'm hoping this is going to be a good idea. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? I could get really injured. Chances are I won't because I'm just walking at the moment on a field. <laughs> Talking to you guys. I'm just unbelievably nervous. Maybe I can calm myself down. Maybe the run will help me be less nervous. Do you believe it? <laughs> I've also just had a message from my husband asking me not to listen to Spotify right now because he's going to be using it. Uh, that's annoying. <laughs> At the beginning of all of my training, I knew I didn't have a great deal of time, but I started off at a level where I could run a marathon. Adding those extra like, is it extra five miles? It didn't feel as daunting. And as the training progressed, and some of it went well, some of it didn't, I kind of stayed at a pretty consistent mindset that I will get it done. I will struggle and it will be hard, but I will see that finish line. I mean, every now and then, there was a bit of doubt. I will be honest, obviously, but, the main mindset I adopted was it's going to get done. Now it's not been until very recently that I felt, oh, that's a mile guys. It's not been until very recently that I've been so anxious and worried about it. Actually, I think I'm playing it down. I'm petrified, absolutely petrified. To the point where I'm even sure I even want to be on this run. I'm so nervous, I'm scared. Having a stretch off my tree, my calves are feeling quite tight. I think that might be down to the fact that I've not done too many miles this week. Uh, I'm just taking a little bit of a walk break because I don't like where I've ran. <laughs> There's a lot of people around and I'm anxious as it is today, so filming myself isn't helping. <laughs> what exactly am I scared of? You may be thinking. Well, my main thing is it's gonna be very, very hot on Sunday and suddenly hot as well. It's not really expected when I booked the race. This time of year, it's been a lot warmer than you would have expected it to be, is what I'm trying to say. I've tried to get out and run, and get used to the heat, prepare myself for running in the heat. But as you can see, it's been very hit and miss when I have gone out. So I've not really been able to prepare myself for what's to come in all of the heat. And I know that heat affects me a lot when I'm running. It slows me right down. It makes it so much harder. It's basically like just running on an incline all the time. That's how difficult it makes it. Well, that's what it does to me anyway. <laughs> I could potentially be out on this run for 
I mean, I'm thinking it's gonna take me like 10 hours, but we'll have to see. But 10 hours running in the heat. Of course I'm nervous, of course I don't wanna do that. <laughs> I'm also nervous at the fact that you're not allowed to listen to music on the run. I'm not used to running without it, like, at all. So that's going to be a hard one. This is going to be the longest run I've ever done and I'm not going to listen to a second of music. <laughs> that's worrying me. Do you know what? Saying all these things out loud is making them feel silly. So this is actually helping. <laughs> you, you guys are helping me. <laughs> stretch <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm doing so much stretching this is a taper run two days out from the big day so I think I'm doing the right thing by stopping a lot and stretching a lot just making sure my legs are prepped not tired let me know in the comments if this is what you would do <laughs> make me feel better <laughs> I think what all of this boils down to is my confidence if I have the right mindset I will get it done just scared of doing it weird thing is I feel like this feels worse than my first marathon, which I'm wearing the t-shirt for it today because when I cross that finish line, if you haven't seen it, go and watch my Manchester marathon video. I will put it at the top. That was one off, if not the best day of my life. Crossing that finish line, getting to that start line, every single one of those miles done, was an achievement and it was incredible. And I like to call that my big win. That was something that I didn't think was possible and I was absolutely petrified to do. And this ultra marathon is a step above that. And I feel like the training has been a step above. Obviously, pressure has probably been a step above. The worry and the anxiety at this point before the race has been a step above. Therefore, the race itself will be a step above. Well, guess what comes after that? When I complete this ultra marathon, the joy and the pride and the happiness and the achievement I will feel will be a step above and I can't imagine anything being more amazing than the feeling I felt crossing that finish line at Manchester. So I'm going to cling on to that idea that everything has felt harder this time. Therefore, when I've finished this ultra, the achievement I will feel will be bigger. But I don't actually have long left to run so I'm going to finish off this run, load back home and I'll be two miles. I've got like 0.2 of a mile left to go. <laughs> oh. That's a very bright house, one minute. Look at the colour of that house. I'm not, uh, is that recently been painted? <laughs> that never used to be that colour. <laughs> hmm, looks nice. <laughs> anyway, let's um, get this run done. Let's get it done. Okay, we did two miles, but I did quite a bit of walking. <laughs> I was at the house for a lot longer than that. I feel like I've just got the camera out, took you out for a two mile run, and just word vomited all of my worries onto you. I actually don't remember anything that I've said, I've just spoke. <laughs> it's quite weird to think that the next time I start a run on my watch, it's gonna be an ultra marathon. Wow, my confidence isn't really very high. But to be honest, after I've had this moan and I've said a lot of the things out loud, like I said before, they do sound quite silly. I will be fine. I will have my husband with me. I have the best person I could possibly have with me. He knows me better than anyone else. He'll know if I'm in a position where I can keep running. He'll know if I need to have a break. So keep an eye out for my ultra marathon video. Whether I finish it or not, I will be posting this video and I will be keeping you guys updated. Thank you so much for coming along with me today, guys. I will see you soon where hopefully I become an ultra runner. Hopefully. You'll come with me, hold my hand. <laughs> Bye guys.